Hey Joburg, how are you guys doing? So awesome to see your happy and smiling faces back here once again. Well, at least I hope they're smiling faces. Anyway, it's time for another one of our awesome reviews and today we are looking at something that I really love. This is the Canon EF 85mm f1.2 2 USM lens and along with its smaller cousin the 50mm f1.2 L USM lens it is the widest aperture lens that Canon currently make. So what is it that makes this lens so special and why is this the lens that you will find in almost every portrait photographer's bag? Let's go and find out. Remember when we said we'd stay together now until forever? Just us, just us. Said we wouldn't be like all the others, fight and hurt each other. Not us, not us. But we let each other down, down, down. Other down, 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 down. This lens is the king of bokeh as it gives the photographer the ability to completely blow out the background while keeping the subject in perfect focus. Now, if you're just starting out in photography and all of that sounds like a whole bunch of gobbledygook, then let me show you what I mean using these two photos. So you can see the difference there between F22 and F1.2. How cool is that? Now, I've been a huge fan of this lens since it came out, and I thought it would be a good idea to put it through its paces using both video and photos. So I'm gonna take the Velociraptor, she's on holiday, and we're gonna shoot out and go shoot some B-roll and some photos so I can show you what this lens really is capable of doing. Now, the biggest downside to the original 85mm f1.2 was the fact that it had a horribly slow focusing speed. This new one has an improved focus mechanism and it's about 1.6 times faster than the original lens. Um, it's still not off to the races in any means, it's still a slow focusing lens. So prepare to be a little frustrated if you're used to fast lenses like the 70 to 200 2.8. But when you're shooting portraits, it's not about getting fast focus, it's about getting that picture sharp. So, is it sharp? It's actually insanely sharp. I actually could not believe how sharp it was, and I mean from edge to edge. But you have to nail the focus at f1.2, otherwise you're gonna have a whole batch of images that are just slightly out of focus. If you've never worked with this kind of aperture before, you may feel like you've spent a lot of money on a lens that doesn't work, but I promise you, practice makes perfect. Remember when you thought that we were better than all of the others? Just us, just us. Said we wouldn't let things come between us. Let love rule, not beat us. Not us, not us. The manual focusing has been drastically improved, but I'm a little bit disappointed that this lens still utilizes focus by wire or electronic manual focusing. Electric manual focusing uses the autofocus motor to adjust focus while you turn the focus ring. This does take some getting used to and you can see it's kind of really, really loose. But on the autofocus side, my biggest gripe is the noise that it makes when it is hunting for focus. Now when you're shooting video, that means that you can't use the sound from that video footage, which is once again not the end of the world because this is a B-roll lens for when you're shooting video. So 
99% of us are going to chuck music over it anyway. We're not really going to use that. If you're shooting interviews, you're going to put them onto manual focus, get your focus in, and you can shoot with that beautiful shallow depth of field. On the video side, this lens is simply beautiful, and it opens up a whole new range of shots that you're able to get. Even though the focusing is not great, the ability to take the subject completely out of focus makes this most probably one of the best interview lenses that you could ever get. I mean, I'm sitting outside in my garden now. I've blown that background completely out of focus. I could be pretty much anywhere. And the difference between 1.2 and 2.8 or f4 like I normally shoot on my 24-105 is huge. One of the biggest issues with using a lens like this is because of the wide aperture, you are letting a ton of light through onto the sensor, which means that trying to shoot at f1.2 in daylight, in bright sunny conditions like this, means that you're gonna overexpose your images. So what you're gonna to need to do if you're looking at getting one of these lenses is to get yourself a variable ND filter as well. That's gonna set you back most probably about another two and a half to three grand, depending on which make you go for. But that's not the end of the world, considering you are gonna be spending in the region of 25 to 30,000 rand for a lens like this. It's worth it, I promise you. I love this lens, I'm gonna be so sad when I've gotta take it back to Canon, which is actually in about 10 minutes. They're shouting at me for it back already. I've had so much fun with it. So, would I buy one of these lenses? Oh, hell yes. If I had 25 grand sitting in my bank account, it would not be sitting in my bank account because this would be on my shelf. One thing you do have to remember, if you are shooting on a full frame camera, the 85 is perfect, it's a great lens for you. If you're on a crop frame sensor camera, the 85 is gonna to be too long. So what you wanna do then is look at the little brother, which is the 50 millimeter f1.2, and that's gonna give you roughly a focus length of about 85 on your crop frame sensor. Right, so that is it. The Canon 85 millimeter f1.2 USM L lens. My word, that's a, that's a lot of gobbledygook, but anyway. 85mm 1.2, go buy yourselves one. I'll drop a couple of links below as to where you can get this lens. If you want to find out anything more, please feel free to drop some comments below, ask me some questions. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Love to hear back from you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, it's down there somewhere, and turn on the notifications so you can watch all future videos. We've got some new kit that's arrived, the Nikon D5600. We've got the Parrot and Nuffy drone. Oh man, there's, there's so much kit that's just arrived. More review videos coming soon. I will chat to you in the very near future. You have a fantastic day. Cheers, Joburg.